Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Catalyst Machine Works Macro America 9 inch frame. In this quick video I'm going to assemble the frame and go over its features and specs and on an upcoming video after bench testing the Brother Hobby 2816 motors which are the only parts that I'm missing in order to complete this build I'm going to feature it in a build and flight video. In terms of packaging inside the bag you can find a heavy duty battery velcro wrap four replaceable and interchangeable carbon fiber arms, four carbon fiber spacers, the bottom and middle plates, and the bag with all the required spacers, nuts and screws for assembling the frame. You should pay attention that this high quality 3D printed TPU canopy is not included along with the kit, and you can also purchase separately GoPro camera mounts and an Immortal T antenna mount. Assembling the frame is quite simple. Each carbon fiber arm is mounted between the bottom and middle plates, it is secured using two M4 screws, and the carbon fiber spacers are placed on top of the front two arms and underneath the back ones. In addition, the 3D printed TPU canopy is secured to the middle plate using M3 screws and its press nuts, which is going to enable you to easily remove the canopy and service the stack when needed. The easiest option in my opinion to build the frame is to first insert the M4 screws into their position, then place the middle plate upside down on an even surface, place the two rear arms, put two spacers on top of them, place two carbon fiber spacers, put the front two arms on top of them, place the bottom plate, carefully lift your build and secure the M4 screws. As for securing the canopy, you will need to first insert the aluminum spacers into their position. Then on the same holes, place the shortest M3 or maybe actually M3.5 glue screws. Make sure that they are pushed all the way down and use them in order to secure the canopy to the middle plate. Now as you can see, the frame is assembled and of course before assembling the canopy and actually the arms as well, you will need to first mount the stack on the bottom plate and secure the camera and video transmitter inside the canopy. As for its specs, the wheelbase of the 9 inch version is 340 mm. It features a true X pattern. The thickness of each replaceable and interchangeable carbon fiber arm is 8.4 mm. The thickness of the bottom and middle plates is 4 mm. It supports only 30.5 by 30.5 mm stacks and the dry weight of the frame is 282.2 grams. As for installing the electronic components, a 30 by 30 mm stack is going to be mounted on the bottom plate and make sure to leave enough room underneath it so the battery velcro strap is going to fit in. The canopy supports micro-sized FB cameras, on its backside you'll be able to mount the Rush FB Cherry antenna and in case you are going for a digital build, you'll be able to mount the Cadex Vista digital transmission system using these 20 by 20 mm mounting holes. The 3D printed TPU canopy is available with or without a GoPro action camera mount and the GoPro camera is going to be mounted using these screws and these provided adapters which are going to enable you to set the camera angle to either 20, 30, 35, 40 or 45 degrees and the angle of the camera is marked on each adapter which is quite convenient. Anyway that's going to be it for this quick video, as far as I can tell this is a very robust and sturdy frame and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to perform in the upcoming build and flight video. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.